Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up return policy on Shopify. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page is go over to the bottom left hand corner and you're going to tap on settings. After selecting settings, I want you to tap right where you will see policies from the left hand menu option. After selecting policies, you're going to see return rules. You can tap on manage. After doing that, you can set up your return window. So for example, let's say you will only accept returns within the first 14 days after purchase. You can select that. You can select 30 days, 90 days, unlimited, custom days. So you can select whichever one of these options. You can also scroll down and you can see return shipping costs. So will the customer be responsible for the return shipping costs? Or will there be a flat rate return shipping or will it be a free return shipping you have three different options you can also choose whether you'd like to charge a restocking fee by selecting charge restocking fee right there and if you would like to for example set it so that there is a particular product or product that is only on final sale so that means that you will not be able to accept that product on return you can do that at the bottom of the page right here so for example we could set specific products and we could tap on add final sale product and then add that particular product if it is for example a collection of products you could tap on collection and you could add final sale collection right there and you could select the products that you would like to not be able to not allow customers to return better yet once you're finished, you're going to tap on turn on in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on turn on, you're going to go back. And now all you will need to do is simply scroll down and you're going to see the option return and refund policy. You're going to tap on review policy. After tapping on review policy, you're going to tap on insert template. Once you have tapped on insert template, you can see it right here. You can tap on any section that you would like to make changes and from there you can quickly edit it. Once you're finished editing it, all you'll need to do now, for example, you can insert the return address. So this varies whether you have a particular warehouse that you would like to add address for or whether you're using uh, your personal address or you're using the distributor address or so on. It varies but you'll insert the address right there. After doing that, you can scroll down and you can see if there are any other sections that you would like to change. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish at the bottom of the page. So now you have added your return and refund policy. You can also see right here, you have the option for enforcement, which is self-serve returns. So you can turn on self-serve returns to apply return rules to online customers return requests. So we could tap on manage right here and you can see the different options. So for example, you can see customers log in with one time code sent to their email. You can also see the classic option right here and you can see the different settings. Once you're finished and everything is to your liking, what I recommend that you do is close out of this section. Then go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select online store. After selecting online store, you're going to tap right where you see navigation. After selecting navigation from here, for example, you could add the return policy in the footer menu. So you're going to tap on footer menu. Then you're going to tap on add menu item. Then you'll go over to the left hand menu option right where you see name. Better yet on the right hand menu option. And from there, you can type in return. Then you'll tap on search or paste and we're going to be selecting policies. After selecting policies, you can select the refund policy right here. Then from there, you're going to tap on add in the bottom right hand corner. After adding the page right here, you can move it into whichever position you want. Then you're going to tap on save. Once you have done that, we're going to tap on themes from the left hand menu option and we're going to tap on customize. After selecting customize, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option once more and we're going to select footer. 
after selecting footer from here you can see privacy policy and refund policy has been added so all you need to do now if you would like to make any changes to the footer section you can do that and then you can tap on save hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe